All right, sisters, fans, happy new year. Um, somehow, some way, we made it to 2022. Fingers crossed, this is a good one. So, without further ado, this video won't be terribly long, but I just want to thank everybody for just being so, so responsive to my videos now, where I'm just seeing dozens, if not hundreds, of comments. And I'm able to kind of look through them and get some ideas from things I didn't even think about. And that's actually going to be the foundation of this video from, let me get this person's name if I can, Kiki Virgo Babby. She says, and this is in reference to one of the new characters introduced in season four, but maybe I should introduce the character. Tanya, um, portrayed by someone in her 30s, or let me just say the character is in their 30s, a black female. Tanya is one of Karen's clients. She just finished getting her hair done and is waiting for her new date to pick her up from the salon. When her date arrives, we realize he's an ex of one of Karen's best friends recurring. And I kept saying to myself during the video, because literally, literally when I record, I'm actually talking to myself. And then when I edit and then post it, I'm talking to you. But I said, okay, so is this an ex of... Okay, it, it can't be Gary. That wouldn't make sense. Could it be Preston? I don't know. Maybe Calvin? It's just one of those things where I just can't make sense of it. Because I'm thinking, out of all the women, aside from Karen and Zach, and after the affair part, once Gary got a divorce, Gary and Andy, those are only two couples in a relationship. Preston and Danny were never in a relationship, nor... uh. Calvin and Sabrina, so who could it be? This animal who I did see. Can you help me guess this mystery? No, for real. Somebody, um, mainly Kiki Virgo Babby said, I believe the ex that shows up at Karen's shop is Andy's abusive college boyfriend. And I'm like, <gasps> if Tyler Perry does that deep dive into continuity, I will lose my mind because this person has only been mentioned twice, I believe, or at the very least, probably about three or four times when one of the girls reminds Andy about the abusive boyfriend, but it's only been alluded to twice what actually happened. All I know is that the girls kept saying about how, yeah, remember what we had to do to get rid of Andy's boyfriend in college. So I'm like, did they kill this motherfucker? And we just don't know about it or what? But... I don't know if he's alive. I will be like, I will applaud Tyler Perry for going that deep into continuity because I know a lot of people on that video I did about the 22 new characters. They were like, oh, here we go. This is the haves and the have not season seven. Again, we're introducing like 50 new people. But to be honest, based on the character descriptions from everything I read, I was actually intrigued because I'm like, okay, it seems like we're fitting things to the story. And I'm like, even if the cast is bloated, I just, reading the character descriptions has me thinking at least things seem to be switching up a bit. Mainly because we've gotten three seasons of the same thing over and over, Monty, Zach, and Fatima. It would be nice to shake up the formula. So, to have Andy's abusive boy ex-boyfriend back in the picture, that would be an interesting concept. Because, like, will Karen step into Tanya, um, you know, to save her from being abused? Or will this be a Zach and Fatima situation where... Karen thinks of the ex-boyfriend as how he was in college, but he's actually changed. Maybe he's apologetic. Maybe he's the best boyfriend ever. And hell, um, this is a new date, so it's not like they have a relationship. But imagine if this ex-boyfriend of Andy's turns to like the perfect gentleman. He's something with Tanya that he wasn't with Andy in the same way Zach is, something complete, is someone completely different, unlike when he was with Karen. And not to mention the fact that for now, she says she's broken up with um, Gary. It just doesn't seem right because she's driving the BMW, which is the car he bought for her. So they must either be getting back together or Gary's going to insist she takes the car. It's just one of those things where, well, that ex-boyfriend, him and Tanya are hitting it off well. They've been on a few dates, talks of relationship. He hasn't put his hands on her, unlike Gary, who bruised Andy's ribs. So, uh, Karen, who are you to judge? But... I think the most surprising thing about this video isn't, I mean, this uh, subject isn't the fact that we might be seeing Andy's ex-boyfriend brought to the uh, show or the fact that we're going to tackle another serious subject on the show. It's the fact that Karen actually has a client 
<laughs> okay, that was me. All right, guys. Thanks so much for tuning in. Uh, shout out to uh, um, Kiki Virgo Babby for that idea. I appreciate it. And like I said, I since I've stopped, uh, you know, uh, uploading as many videos and really hammering in on which ones I want to focus on the most. I've been noticing just an increase in views and comments. So I skim through them sometimes and a lot of times like, damn, even I didn't think of that. So I just appreciate the engagement on these uh, videos. So thanks again. But hit the thumbs up button to show you like the video. Hit subscribe as we move closer to 195,000 subscribers. We're actually going to hit that today. Yeah, we're, we're less than 50 people away. So as we move closer to 200,000 subscribers, Follow me on social media. Links are in the description below. Hit that bell icon and select all. That way you don't miss out whenever I post content on the channel. And if you would like to donate, feel free to do so on PayPal or Cash App.